Uh-huh. <laughs> praise the Lord. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. praise it's always good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We're getting ready to start Bible study for those who are joining. We ask you to share, uh, comment, comment a little bit and let us know you understand and everything like that. We just believe that God is doing some great things in all of our lives. Amen. Amen. So why don't we just take a deep breath and let that out and say these words that the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. That's what I've been hearing in my spirit all the best is yet to come. You ain't seen nothing yet. So let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight as we come tonight. We always want to come to bring glory and honor to you. Father, we know that you're the author and the finisher of our faith. So, Father, we have that assurance through the word of God that tells us that everything that we go through has to work together for good. As long as we stay aligned with your will, it's going to always work out for our good. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. We come against anything that the enemy might be trying to apply, plan, or sabotage, or anything. We bind it right now in the name of Jesus. We call our bodies healed. And we thank you that we've got the peace of Jesus that's resting in our hearts and our minds and our souls. And we thank you that our faith is sharpened to believe our best days are before us. And with Christ, we know all things can work together at any time for our good. So, Father, we love you and we praise you. We take a moment to clear our minds. Father, there's a lot going on in the world, but, Father, we need a word from you tonight. Father, I ask you for wisdom, I ask you for knowledge, I ask you for understanding to be able to communicate with your people tonight. Thus said the Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God a praise one more time. I don't care how tired I am, but you know, when I get to the house of God, I, I'm serious. I feel always energized. Amen. Amen. So this is my charging station. Amen. 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 So no matter what's going on, I just know if I can get to the house of the Lord with other yes. believers, I believe that it's going to all work together for good. Amen. Amen. So again, I told you I'm going to be here quite a while talking about prayer, and we're going to pick up prayer is a must. So again, I want you to get that in your spirit that how we communicate with God, we don't communicate through fancy words and all that. It's just having an open heart to pray to God. Amen. Amen. And one thing that we know about God, when we take it to God, I don't care how bad it looks or how it feels, that God can work it out for your good. Amen. Amen. So yes. when I pray to God, my answer is always in my prayer because I'm praying to God. And once I give it to God, I believe it's already done. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go back to Luke 18 and 1. Uh, that's just a familiar scripture. It talks about man should always pray and not faint. So y'all can find that scripture. And let's get rolling here. Amen. Amen. All right, you got it? And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Mm -hmm. okay, that. So again, you know, I think that's something that we, we've got to make sure we harm on. You must have a prayer life. Amen. Now, no, nobody should be trying to tell you how to pray, because one thing about God, when we pray, God looks at our heart, our disposition yes. of our heart. So make sure that you take time out of your schedule always to pray. And I want to go a little further. Pray about everything. Yes. Amen. Don't, don't just get in a desperate situation and pray, but you should always pray. Even when th things are going good in your life, That's still right. pray. Amen. Amen. So, so I want to make sure that we understand we should always pray and not faint. And I really believe that why people are fainting because we're not praying. Uh -huh. Because if we really understood the word of God, if we really just really knew who God was, and we really take time to seek his face, not always his hand, we can yeah. understand what we're going through. We've already got victory. Amen. Yeah. So when I pray, put this on your paper because it's not in my notes yet. When I pray, I got to pray in confidence. Amen. And I, I think that's sometimes we miss out on pray, pray in confidence. Yeah, confidence. I mean, just knowing that when you pray, uh, Jesus said, when I pray, I know you hear me, God. Yes. yes. And, and that's the confidence we need to have. Some of us. We, we're wondering if God heard us. No, when, when, when Daniel was in, uh, 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 on the side of that mountain, when he prayed, guess what? He said, when the angel came, he said, I heard you the first time. Yes. Amen. Amen. So understand that, that, that when we pray, we've got to pray in confidence. Now, I wrote this on, on my, my, my paper. When you dedicate to seeking God's face through prayer, mm -hmm. yeah, you open doors 
for him to move mightily on your behalf. Amen. 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 I'm going to say that one more time so because some of y'all act like y'all didn't hear what I said. I said when you dedicate, I said dedicate, that's the key word, <clears throat> dedicate to seeking God's face through prayer. Yes. You open the doors for him to move mightily on your behalf. Yes. Because what we want God to do, when we pray, we want God to move. Amen. Amen. If you're sick, you want God to heal. Yes. If you need a financial blessing, you want God to give you a financial blessing. That's right. If you need peace in your house, when you pray, you want to pray that you want God to bring peace to your house. Amen. So again, uh, 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 we have to pray uh, that God always knows that, that we're in a position that we need him. I want to say that again. Right. God always, he already knows that we're in a position that we need him. That's right. Because as the scripture said, without me, you can do nothing. Now, now, let me tell you what prayer does. I wrote this down. Prayer breaks chains. Amen. Say chains. Chains. There are some things that you get kind of tied up and tangled up in and all that there. When you pray, prayer can break chains. It, it, it also deals with yoke, destroys yokes. Amen. Yeah. It removes barriers. And then it releases the transformation power of God to operate in our lives. So there's that, some benefits, there's some powerful in, in, in praying. And I want you to make sure you get that in, 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 in your heart. And let me say this here. You don't always need somebody to pray with you. Amen. Amen. I mean, all of us should have that place, that secret place, <clears throat> where you go to and you communicate with God. Amen. 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 And God is he, he's listening, but are you saying anything? Amen. 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 So again, we, we got to understand that, that the power of prayer, it has some power when we pray. Uh, it, it destroys yokes. It breaks chains. It removes barriers. And it, it also releases the transformation power of God to operate in our lives. Amen. Now, now there, there are so many examples in the Bible. I was just looking today. There are so many uh, examples of uh, people that are connecting in prayer with God. I look at J Jacob. You know when Jacob wrestled? Yeah. yeah. He, he said, I'm not going to let you go until you what? Bless me. What, what a powerful prayer. I mean, he prayed that. I mean, he's wrestling, but he's going through something. He wants God to change something. But that's how your prayer should be. Hold on to God. Hold on to your faith, believing that God is going to do it. I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to stop praying until what? You bless me. Amen. Then I look at Joshua. Did you, 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 have you ever read about Joshua? Yeah. Told the son to stand still? Yeah. I mean... That's a powerful prayer. Yes, sir. I mean, one man, he, he, he's on a mission to complete the assignment God gave him. He said, now listen, I need the sign to stand still. Yes. Yes. I mean, so that's the power of prayer. So we've got to understand that there's some power in prayer. Then Jesus himself prayed. Yes, yeah. Amen. And he lets us know that, that you're going to have weak moments. Yeah. And how do you overcome weak moments? Through prayer. Yeah. And he prayed. He said, Father, that was a prayer. If it be another way, yeah. allow this to pass by me. How many of us, we, we, we go through stuff. We don't want, we want it to leave. We don't That's want to right. go through that. That's right. And, and through the prayer, he gets the revelation. Yeah. Not my will, yeah. but let thy will be done. Yeah. And your prayer is always going to bring you back to the will of God for your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so I, I said Jacob prayed, Joshua prayed, and Jesus prayed. But I'm gonna ask you a question: Are you praying? Yes, Lord. And then, and then are, are, are you believing that when you pray, that God hears you? Yes. Amen. And then, and pray, when you pray, and you really praying sincere, uh, God gives you peace in your waiting. So if you don't find, find peace, then you've got to look at your, your whole life. Because whenever I pray about something, it might be a shaky, shaky, but eventually I'm going to have some peace about it. Amen. Amen. Because some things I can't handle. I know I can't handle it. But when I fix my mind to God, God can handle anything. Yes, Lord. He can deal with anything. Are you hearing me tonight? Amen. Amen. So, so I believe that the same power is available to us today. Yes, when we right. seek God through praying. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now listen, I said the same power is available. Do, do, do you know the scripture that says the same power 
that raised Christ from the dead is the same power that's operating in you if you let it. So again, if that same power raised Jesus from the dead, that means anything you go through, you all already have the power to overcome it. I want you to touch yourself and say, it's in there. It's in there. You've got to believe it's in there. And when you know, it, it develops this confidence. It, 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 it develops this boldness. Mm -hmm. And when you know God's got your back, I mean, it's that boldness. I prayed about that thing, and I know God heard me, so I'm just, I, I know he's going to fix that thing. Amen. I'm not going to be stressing when I've already took, taken it to the Father, but most of us, when we pray, we pray, but then we counsel the prayer. Because what we want to do, we want to see something. Yeah. We want to see it moving right now. But sometimes what God does, you don't see it move right now. He, he fix you in here. That's why. Right. Yes, sir. Do you believe I can do this? Yeah. Are you willing to wait on, on me to yeah. do this? Yes, sir. So again, we, you, we got to know that that same power is available to us today. Now listen, I want you to write this on your back. Faith is the key. When you, when you pray, faith is the key. Amen. Prayer connects you, but faith is the key. So I have to believe that God can do what he say he can do. Amen. 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 So if I'm praying about healing, then guess what? I have to get that in my mind. I have to get that in my, my whole intellect that, 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 that the Bible says I'm already healed. Amen. So when I pray, it says, Father, your word say this. And that's another thing. We've got to start praying the word of God. That's it. Amen. That, that's, the, that's the key. And the Bible talks about praying amiss. Sometimes we pray amiss because we start saying stuff that don't, it contradicts what the word says. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord, I, 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 God never told you you was exempted from nothing. Mm -hmm. Show it to me in the Bible. It doesn't say that you were exempted. It says a man that's born of a woman has a few days, they full of what? Is that exempted? Why do you say when the enemy comes like a flood, he lets you know he's coming. But what does it say? The spirit of the Lord will lift up a what? And what do you think that, that spirit is? It's the word of God that's inside of you. Amen. So, 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 uh, faith is, is, the, is the key. But then again, so how long should you pray? And this is a question that, that a lot of times, you know, a lot of believers come in. Well, how long should you pray? I mean, uh, my answer to that is pray until you believe. Amen. <laughs> pray until you got some confidence that is done. All right. Amen. 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 So, so, so again, uh, I'm not here to give you some magic formula. Uh, pray one time, pray ten times. Just pray. Amen. 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 But, but, but again, uh, don't pray. Without your faith. You know, at some point, you got to believe that it's done. That's right. In the scriptures, there are so many scriptures. Me, how I deal with it. So I find out whatever I'm going through, I find the scripture to stand on. Then I pray the scripture. Amen. 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 Uh, God, God, it's a, it's a scripture. The Bible said, God said, remind me of my word. That's it. Give me my word back. Do you know the Bible says the heaven and earth will pass away uh, before the word of God? Yeah. Amen. Amen. I mean, if he said it, it's got to happen. But we got to start believing that it's happening already. Amen. You, you, I, I just talked about uh, something. Get out of your feelings. Yeah. And, and most of the time, this is what robs us of our victory because we don't feel it happening. We don't feel God moving. But let me tell you something. Most of, most of the time, my big breakthroughs came. Guess what? I didn't feel nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't in the church. Mm. I didn't feel I hear no drums. Mm. Wasn't nobody dancing, nobody shouting. God just did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what I love about God. You know, when He does something, uh, you know, nobody can't take the credit for no. what God did. Amen. 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 And then guess what? When He do do that, and you know it was God, it was unscheduled, it happened when you least expect it. Guess what? That ought to do something for you. Yeah. Amen. So again, so 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 pray until you get to you receive your breakthrough. Yeah. So so I mean, well keep to know, keep reminding God about his word. Amen. Amen. God, you said this. 
and you are bound to your word. You said before your word pass away, that heaven and earth will pass away. Hold God to his word. This is the key. We, we keep adding to it. No. He said, if you are willing and obedient, yeah, yeah. willing, and obedient, yeah. you're going to what? Yeah. What do you believe that? Yes, yeah. Then what you got to go back to God and say, God, I'm sure willing, <laughs> and I've been obedient to your word. Yeah. And your word says, if I'm willing and obedient, I'm going to eat the good of the land. Yes, Guess what the next thing you need to do? Expect for it to happen. And that's what we pray, but we don't pray in expectation. Yeah. Right. You know, it's like those, you know, I, I don't knock this and I'm not, but, you know, for, I come up in a Baptist church, I remember being young, we, we used to say stuff, it sounded good, but it wasn't scripture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord, you don't have to move the mountain, give me the strength. but give me the strength. The strength. The strength. Oh, hallelujah. It might yeah. feel good. And guess what? The enemy wants you to feel good in saying that. Yeah. <laughs> because you said you want to climb mountain. Yeah. Uh -uh. You open up your mouth and you said you want to climb mountain. Yeah. And so what? Satan reminds God. She, they didn't say they want the mountain to move. They just want strength. Yeah. So guess what? You keep going through attack after attack. And you keep climbing and yeah. cussing and climbing and cussing and climbing yeah. and frustrating, yeah. climbing yeah. and quit, yeah. climbing and blaming mama and daddy. So you keep climbing. Yeah, yeah. But but but, but when I became a little bit too, I read the scripture. That's it. It says for me not to climb the mountain. Oh, speak to it. Yeah. It says that you can speak to the mountain. Yes, yeah. And, 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 and the mountain will be gone. Yeah. Cast into the what? <laughs> and, and, and not to see it no more. M maybe the problem is your mountain is still there. Jesus. Oh, wow. You keep climbing. Teach. You keep climbing and climbing. No, speak to it. Mm. And guess what? Know that it's got to happen. It's got to line up just like God said it's supposed to line up. Yeah. So when I pray, say when I pray. When I pray. With my faith. With my faith. It aligns me with the heart and the will of God. Amen. 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 You, you see, see when I when I pray with my faith, mm -hmm. and then I add the word to it, it aligns me with the heart and the will of God. Amen. 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 And then when, when, when your heart and the will is aligned up and you pray in the word, guess what? Then you become a witness. Yes, yeah. Amen. I feel, I feel the Holy Ghost now. I said you become a witness. Guess what happens? You see the impossible I wrote some of it, become possible. That's when you pray. I'm going to say that one more time. I just like the way that sounds. It's a lot, it's a lot of that said. <laughs> when you pray with your faith. Yeah. And, and you pray the word of God. Yeah. It aligns me with the heart of God. Yeah. And the will of God. Amen. Then I become a witness yes, for God. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then my impossible uh, has become possible. Yeah. Oh my God. I wish this was Sunday morning. We'd tear it up right about now. Yeah. Somebody I, say, I still, I still believe. I still believe. Because because this is the power of prayer. It takes the impossible. With men, it's impossible. Yes, amen. But with God, all things are what? Possible. possible. Amen. If you what? Believe. believe. If you what? Believe. believe. So my job is to keep on believing. Yeah. Keep on speaking it. Keep on, uh, keep yourself aligned with the will of God. Now listen, you, you have to keep yourself aligned with the will of God. Yes. Why? Just like your car. You ever had a car, it, it drives smoothly. It's going straight. Yes. Mm -hmm. But after some years, yeah. them potholes, yes, them curves that can't just keep running over. <laughs> <laughs> Messing up rims 
Any amen there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I've, I've been there. I'm just using Candace for example there. Okay, all right, Felicia, uh, you know, we see your car a little, a little bumpy now, you know. You know, you know, since the Florida got her new car, but, you know, but I'm saying that, you know, me, I mean, same with me. I was driving just today, and I'm driving down Houston Street, and I was, I hit a puddle. This was the, the sound of that pothole. I know it had been something that real. It wasn't like no boom. It was like boom. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. And just like yeah. those hits and those bumps yeah. knock your car out of alignment. Yeah. Sometimes the devil can bring some That's stuff right. in your life. Yeah. Some hits. Yeah. Some things you didn't see coming. Some tears yeah. you had to share. Some people who walked out of your life. Yeah. Guess what? Just like you have to take your car in to get that thing a lot, that's going to keep pulling to one side. Yeah, yeah. that is good. Yeah. And just like we got to do the same for our car, yeah. we got to go to God. And sometimes God has to bring us back into a line. Yes. That's not my will for your life. That's why you frustrated. Come back in the line. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to be what you're not. Come back yeah. in the line. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that hurt you, but that was who I had to walk with you. Come back in alignment. Yeah. So again, this is how God operates in our life. Amen. You know, you don't have a power over nobody else. Amen. But you have a power over you. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we got to make sure that we want to see the impossible mm -hmm. become possible. Yeah. That, that's what we want. That's what we want as a believer. Yeah. I, I want the impossible to become possible. Yeah. If God said it. Yeah. Sure. I believe what God said. Amen. I believe I can do what God said. Amen. I believe I can have what God said. Yeah. I believe I can live like God said. Yeah. I believe my ministry can be like God said. Yeah. I, I'm working on a message I got this morning uh, in my workout. It says, act like that. Mm. Yeah. Act like what he said. Yeah. Stop acting like you are some child that you don't know who you're for. Act Amen. like you know. Amen. Act like you know God's Amen. a healer. Amen. Act like you know that God got your back. Yeah. And then when you start and start talking like it too. Yes. Yes. Talk like you know. Yes. Amen. Amen. Calm down, Pastor. Amen. This is Bible study. They've been telling me. So I want the impossible to become possible. Yeah. And that comes only when I keep myself aligned with his will. Always something trying to pull you to the right. Always something trying to pull you to the right. But guess what? My my, my drifting days are over. Yeah. I'm going to my promise, man. Amen. Everything God said, I was telling somebody today, with or without some people, I'm going all the way in. Amen. I've got a made up mind. Okay. Now 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 let me tell you something else that 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 that, that prayer does. Now now I want you to write this down. Uh The, when we pray, we also invite the Holy Spirit to give us a fresh empowerment of God's power inside of us. Amen. Somebody say a fresh. A fresh. Now, now, maybe you ain't never experienced, but the Holy Ghost, have you ever brought that freshness on you? Yes. Yes. I mean, some fresh power. You, you have been weakened, and, and then you prayed, and then you woke up, and, and you woke up with some fresh power. This, this is what the Holy Spirit, this is what prayer does. Prayer empowers us. It gives us a freshness about it to serve and, and, and to bear fruit. God wants us to be bearing fruit at all times. And remember this. Somebody's looking at your life. What are, what are they seeing? And that's why we pray. We're praying, God, let your will be done. Well, your will, God's will is for the Holy Spirit to be operating in your life. Right. Somebody put it in all the time. In all the time. He, 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 what God will is for you to stop talking and let the Holy Spirit to start talking. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the real will of God. Uh, the real will of God is for you to stop thinking all this crazy stuff to have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the real will of God. So the Holy Spirit, when I pray, the Holy Spirit brings that freshness. Mm -hmm. It brings that renewalness in me. Mm -hmm. It brings that wisdom that I need to have for the situation I'm in. And it helps me to bear fruit at all times. Amen. And I'm going to ask you, is your life bearing any fruit? Yeah. 
Can, can somebody look at you and see God? You no, know, they don't need to come to the church. They ought to see it before they get to the church. Yeah. Can, can somebody, if they're going through something, they know that you got something. And when you got something, guess what? People going to call. Yeah. Man, look, you know, I've been the kind of preaching that uh, everybody has have my number. But man, you'd be surprised. I mean, calls at 3 o'clock in the morning. Hello? Pastor, how you doing? Sleep. Sleep. I need you to I need you to pray. Right now. I'm going through something. And, and that's how people, but guess what? Evidently they saw something in me. Now guess what? They were the member of the church. But they saw something in me. Amen. And then uh, uh, I had somebody else that uh, uh, they were getting ready to get married. And they asked me to marry them. And I'm like, why your pastor can't marry me? Oh, no, 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 he can't marry me. Mm. I said, why can't he marry you? He's been through too much already. He can't keep his own marriage together. See, see, mm. but, but people ought to see something in you. Yeah. And I want you to write this on your paper because I know somebody got a feeling about it, but I really don't care, but it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people want real. That is the That's truth. Yeah. I, I'm telling yeah, you, I, I, right don't know that all this fancy, yes, all this cathedral stuff fool you. I, I mean, I mean, people want real. Yeah. Yeah. They want to see the real power of God. Yeah. They want to know that somebody's preaching, that they're living what they're preaching. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. They, they want to know if you say you pray for you really praying for That's me. Right. And then people want to see the demonstration of God's power Amen. in operation. That's right. Amen. And this is what I pray for. I don't just pray to be a church with 50,000. Listen, if God has that for you, then guess what? Let me tell you something. The more people you, you have uh, that you respect for, it's the more blood on your hand. Amen. Yeah. What I pray for, I say, God, I want people to see your power in operation. Amen. Not none of this old prophet stuff. You you marvel about somebody calling your name out or calling your last name or your telephone. That don't mean nothing. Amen. Read your Bible. Yeah. When Moses threw his rod down, yeah. it turned into a snake. Yeah. And guess what they did? They threw their rod down and it turned yeah. into a snake too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Satan got some power too. That's right. Jesus said, don't marvel about all these things. What you should be marveled about is that your name is written in the Lamb books of life. Yeah. That's what you should be marveling about. Yes, sir. So, so, so again, the Holy Spirit empowers us. Yeah. Not, not just to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, let me deal with that for a minute before I give you these points. Yeah. That we're gonna say, not to perform. Not, not to perform. perform. The Holy Spirit empowers you to carry out God's will on this earth. Yeah. Do you know what the model prayer says? Have you read the model prayer? Let thy will be done mm -hmm. on what? Earth. 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 As it were. Yeah. Well, somebody got to be doing that. Yes. Amen. So your, your, your job is to be in such an alignment with God yeah. and such a relationship with God to heaven comes down on earth. Amen. Mm. Okay, y'all don't know how, 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 how that looks? Jesus says this. He's man, mm -hmm. but he's God too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But look, look, look what the man Jesus said. When you've seen me, mm -hmm. you've seen the Father. Mm -hmm. When you heard me, mm -hmm. you heard the Father. Yeah. Then guess what he says? Me and the Father, what? One. 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 Your job is is to get one in God to where it's no more you, but it's the Christ inside of you. When people need an answer, boom, God's going to come out with the answer. Amen. That's, why, that's why when Jesus was, was ministering and he started talking to the Sadducees and Pharisees, they said, we never heard it. We never heard a teaching like this. What, what school did you matriculate from? We done here. We've been, and, but, but, but it wasn't a school. Mm. It was me and the Father. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 
been one. Man. I preach that all day. Yeah. If we want to know where my power comes, it don't come from nobody laying hands going. It's me and the Father yeah. becoming one. I wonder what kind of life would you have? What kind of doors would open if you and the Father become one? Amen. You know, you know, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's when you're in the father one, you always thinking about the father. Yeah. And, and it's like Abraham, when they tried to give him, tell him something, he said, no, no, I'm not going to take nothing from you. Unless you say that you made me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's something to think about right there. Yeah. So again, it's about you and the Father becoming one. That's what prayer does. It Amen. brings you into oneness with God. Amen. Stop letting all these people bewitch you and behoozle you with all this, all this stuff. No, just get in your prayer closet. Yeah. Amen. Get your heart aligned with God's will. Yeah. Let God know that He can trust you, and don't say it with your mouth. Show Him with your action. Amen. Because you do know He said He's looking for somebody. Yeah. He said, I'm looking for somebody. Yeah. This is God. My eyes go to and fro the earth looking for somebody yeah. that I can show myself strong. I mean, you sit there, you, you, you covered another man's gift, and God said, that's what you want? Uh, I'm looking for somebody to come way up here, yeah. but you want to stay right there. Uh -oh. Do you know that when you stop God just beginning? Amen. Yeah. Do you know what is seemingly abundantly above all you can ask a thing? Do you, do you know what that means? That means that it's some stuff that God want to do he hadn't even done yet. Oh, On the earth. Mm. And we marvel about all this stuff. Man, you better look at your Bible. Yeah. What kind of prayer life did the man of God have? Well, his shadow healed people. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I want to be that prayer. I want to pray that prayer. I want to yeah. pray that prayer. Yes, sir. I, what kind of what kind of relationship to where you can sit there and make the whole the 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 the, the moon and the, all the rotations to stop? Mm -hmm. Jesus. What 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 kind of prayer do you pray? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you go and tell them it won't be no rain no more. Yeah. 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 I spoke it. And it's not going to help. And I researched it. I, re I researched it. I, re I said, man, it was powerful. Let me tell you something. Do you know what stopped the rain? Was Elijah knew what God said. He said, if they stopped worshiping him and they didn't come in line with him, that he would stop the rain. He would stop that. And when Elijah spoke, he spoke it because God had already spoken. Yeah. 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 What kind of prayer do you pray? The way you walk with God. What kind of? I mean, you know, come here, hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the wrong people. I mean, walk with God, and the conversation is so good. To he said, "Well, God is getting late." I, I, this is Mac Devinizing it now. It's getting late. I, I, it's time to go home. He said, man, the conversation's so good. Let's go. We're closer to my house now. Yeah. Ah. And it kept yeah. on. Yeah. See, this, ought to, this is what ought to stir you up. Not yeah. somebody. I mean, no, get in the oneness with God. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, it goes on and on. I look, even look at David with all his proclivities, all his shortcomings and all this. But guess what God still said? Hmm. A man. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Everybody talking about him sleeping with the woman. Everybody talking about killing her husband. But God still called him. Yes. A man. After God's own heart. And then guess what? <laughs> David was David prayed some prayers. Yeah. David said, listen, God, I know I'm wrong. And I know I deserve to be punished. But he said, God, you deal with me. You deal with me. Don't put me in the hand of a man. They don't know when to stop. Yeah. You are a man. I wish I had somebody that ever messed up and say, God, just deal with me. I know my attitude went right. I should have done that. that. And aren't you glad that God don't put you in the hand of a man because a man would never quit punishing That's right. Never. That's right. And even though David had all this stuff, and it's not no just give somebody just to do what you want to do, 
But the Bible says, you read it. It said, and David still went on and became great. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, okay, now, now let me tell you the keys uh, to, to your breakthrough in prayer. First of all, if you want to break the prayer, let's go to Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 24. We're almost done. Y'all got me a little hype tonight. I feel like I'm feeling a little jump. I feel a little hollering. And the word says, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Amen. 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 They didn't hear you. Okay. I did. Amen. This is the word of God. And this is something, this is a key, mm -hmm. this is a principle to receive. Yes. yes. A principle. No, 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 no. You don't have to spend in a $100 line. Mm. Ain't yeah. nobody got to blow on you or none of that there. This is a key. Yeah. Read it one more time. Mm -hmm. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire. Now, whatever you desire. When you pray. He said he'll give you the desires. You ever heard he give you the desires of your heart? Yeah. Read, read on. When you pray, when you pray. believe that you receive them. Now listen. Either you believe or you don't. If you don't believe, keep praying. But at some point, your prayer should bring you to the revelation that is already done. Amen. 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 One more time. Amen. It says, when you pray, believe that it's already done. Amen. Keep reading. And ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. Okay, so I want you to put right there, this is the key. Believe and expect. I'm going to say it one more time. Say, believe, believe and expect. And expect. God will move mightily in your life when you when you pray, you believe, and you expect him to do it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody says it's already done. It's already, it's already done. done. And, and, and that, that should give you confidence. It, you know, I, I want you to hear me for a moment because I'm, I'm very transparent. I would not be preaching today. I'm going to tell you how I am. You can't dazzle me. You can't make me say something. You can't make me go with the flow or nothing. Either, either it's going to happen or it ain't. Amen. I, I'm like this. And, and I've always been like that. When I came to God, I said, God, I want to know you for my... Something happened and, 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 and I just didn't like the way it felt. I said, God, I don't want to feel like this no more. I want to know you for myself. Yeah, amen. I don't want to hear about somebody else's testimony. I don't want to hear. I mean, I, I'm okay with hearing about what happened yesterday. But if you the God of today, yeah. I want you to do something today. Yes, and I'm telling you, God started giving me experience. It was things that I prayed and believed for. There was things I scratched my face for. It was things when I was all the way out of the deep. I said, either I'm from the same drown or something. Hmm. God gonna have to show up. Yeah. Amen. And I'm telling you, God has done so much for me. Some people that's coming to this church, every time I come in this church, I think about the man took our money, yeah. trying to sell it to somebody else. Locked us out. I kicked the door. He put another. I couldn't <laughs> kick that open. And one day I came. And, and, and she said, look, it's a key. And I, and I, I was playing, acting crazy like I know I'm doing. I said, he said he'd give you the keys of the kingdom. Yeah. And I was going to go. And I put in the door. And not expecting it. Mm. When I turned it, it opened. Mm. That's what yeah. I was doing. Yeah. That was the Ooh. confidence. Yeah. Yeah. When you start having these encounters with Thank God. Thank you. You don't need nobody to prophesy. When you've had your yeah. own encounter with God, yeah, that's it. I, I'm like, this said, God, if you did this before, you you, if all of you all decide to leave right now, guess what? I would still be doing this. Thing. Yeah. Because I, I started with nothing. Mm -hmm. I started with people laughing, saying it, it wasn't going to work. 
And I heard God say, go to the funeral home and, and the preachers, I'll be driving on funeral. Hey, man, look up, Mac Duff. Come on, man. I'll make you my youth pastor. Man, you over there. Ain't nobody coming to no funeral home. But I heard God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Less than, I remember this one preacher, he, it hurt me how he belittled me in front of all the other preachers. But less than a year. Yeah. We had more members than him. Yeah. Right yeah. It was packed. We couldn't get to the door. When you had an experience with yes. God, yes. it yes. gives yes. you the confidence. Yes. Let's see, some of us keep on saying, God, do it again. He'll keep doing it again. But guess what? Yes. At some point, you got to build up your faith and say, yes. I'm moving to my next thing. Yes. So it's the key. Believe and expect. Yes. Amen. Now listen. Say, say key is key. Revelation of who God is. Amen. Amen. Most of us, we know God by giving us. But how many people want to have that deeper relationship of who God really is? Amen. I mean, not just love, but God be love. You know what I, mean? Uh -huh. I mean, how deep do you want to go? Amen. Let's look at Ephesians. Uh, I think it's a one. 17, and let's read a little bit of that, and I think that'll help us out today. Say a deeper revelation. A deeper deeper revelation. revelation. Guess what? How, how, how deep do you want to go? You know what the Bible says? We go from glory to glory and faith to faith. It's no ending. You can't get to know everything. You, every time you think you know this, it's going to give you this. Right. God will twist one word and make you go back and study again. Right. God will give you a deep breath. I thought I knew you did, but God said, no, it's, you don't know, be a, a, a bit more. Come on closer. This, that, this. It's how God is. Yes, no searching of his understanding. You, how deep do you want to go? Yeah. Prayer gives us a deeper revelation. What is the Ephesians 1? I wrote that down. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Stop right there. Amen. 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 The, the what? The spirit? The spirit, the spirit, spirit of wisdom. Of wisdom. The spirit. And revelation in the knowledge. Have you heard that spirit? Uh, that that on, wisdom now. is a spirit? Come on uh, now. Lord, let that spirit get in me. I, I, I want to I talk about you. I want to know you. I want to make sure. It's a spirit. Jesus. The spirit of wisdom yes, Lord. that you know Jesus. the secret things. Yes. That, that when people are trying to figure it out, God give you one thing just in this, wow. Where did that come from? And that's what we want to do. We want to have a deeper. Read that one more time, but I, I don't believe some people heard you real. Just read that real. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Wow. wow. I love it. Woo. I love the word. I feel like shouting on that there right yes. there. Yes. Somebody say amen on that. Amen. amen. Uh, I don't want to hold you too long tonight. So, so uh, again, uh, it, 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 the key is believing and expecting. Then prayer takes me to a deeper revelation of who God is. And then when you find out who God is, you find out this wisdom and all this, this spirit of wisdom. Yes. That, that God gives you to be able to unlock some mysteries. Mm -hmm. You do know that that's a scripture that, that I, I read. I read this Bible. It, it messes me up. It says God hides some stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. From the wise yes. and the fruit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, reveal it. and he Come revealed on. it to the babes. Yes, yes Lord. Y'all miss y'all shout right yeah, there. Yeah. He hides some stuff yeah. from, from, from those who up there, and yes, stock and all this, that, that. And here he they is, and God give you some revelation mm -hmm. about the situation that brings a transformation, mm -hmm. leads to glorification, and glorification leads to <laughs> sanctification. Yeah. Sanctification, it goes on and on. Yeah. So, so again, I'm going to ask you how to, and, and then I, I want you to, this is what prayer does, that will just give you a, a deeper revelation of who God is. It opens our eyes to understanding. Yes. Amen. Amen. It opens the eyes of understanding. 
This shows us the character and the nature and the ways of God. Yeah. The Bible says everything get a what? Understanding. understanding. Get an understanding. So when I pray, it opens up my eyes of understanding. I don't want to just read the scripture. And most people are professional readers. Yeah. I read the Bible 10 times. Mm. But what do you understand? Come on. That's it. I want to understand yeah. what I'm reading. I want some revelation about what I'm reading. I want to read some to God, just a mess around. Oh, God. I didn't see that. You know, didn't see that. I was talking to uh, Dr. Wilcox, and we were just talking, and I was talking to him about something, and, you know, he's such a theologian. And I always pray after God, so I want to have something to say. And I begin to talk. He said, Mac! That's how you talk, Mac! He said, you got something there. He said, you got me thinking. You got me thinking. And wait a minute. He went got his Bible. He said, you got a minute. <laughs> That's what you want. You don't want to just have conversation. I want to have some understanding and I said, God, you can gave me that. I don't even understand that myself. You, know? like, man, you got me thinking. So it opens up our eyes to understand. Now, now this, this is for the professional readers because don't just read the word. Get an understanding of the word. The word would not benefit you if you don't understand what you read or you say. Amen. That's where talking and praying a miss come in. Because you don't understand. The Bible says, in all you're getting, get a what? Understanding. Amen. Amen. So make sure that you understand this because there are some things that, that in this word that, that God wants to reveal. Mm -hmm. there, there's some things that haven't even been tapped into. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, right. Jesus says, he said, uh, you say with your mouth mm. that you love, mm. but your heart says something else. Look at that revelation. Mm -hmm. You can say it, mm -hmm. but your heart ain't saying it. Mm -hmm. And that tells us that a lot of things we say, mm -hmm. God ain't listening to what we're saying. Yeah. He listening to what's coming out of our That's heart. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. What, what's in your heart? Right. I, I, I love the scriptures when Jesus, I mean, this, this blows me away, and they hadn't even said nothing. They were just sitting there. And Jesus turned around and said, Why do you think like that? Mm. Mm. That tells you that God knows our thoughts. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Mark and said, get your thoughts together. Get, get your, your thoughts, thoughts together. together. Right. Why, why do you think the scriptures is there to right. cast down every imagination right. that comes yeah. against what? The word of God. Yeah. Thank you, Those yeah. thoughts are coming to, to discombobulate your That's mind. Right. Yeah, yeah. To keep you from understanding. <laughs> What God is doing. So again, when I, we pray, it gives us, we have to believe and expect. Mm -hmm. uh, when we pray, it gives us a, dip, uh, a deeper revelation of who God is. Mm -hmm. And it opens our eyes to understand it. But one more thing, it opens up a fresh outpour of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. Say a fresh. A fresh. Now, I know y'all going to be looking at me funny on this here. Let me see. Let me see what I I, it was in Psalms, I think it was 92, I think 92 and the 10, try, try 92 and 10. Let's see what that said. Because I had kind of glanced at what it said. Yes. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Mm. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Whew. Somebody said fresh oil. Fresh oil. Yeah. I think that was David talking. No, God wants us to have fresh oil. I mean, when the man of God was talking about that, all oh, stinking and stuff like that, boy, that messed me up there. Yes. Oh, man, look at <laughs> Somebody said some fresh oil. Fresh oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I started praying, God, get me fresh oil. Because there, there are things that can contaminate. So, so the man, the man of God said, you know, I mean, even though I, I want some fresh oil, and, and when we pray, it opens up a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Amen. our lives. Amen. 
And that's what God wants us to do. He, he wants there to be some freshness. Amen. Somebody said some freshness. Some freshness. freshness. I mean, I mean some fresh oil. And what does the oil, what does the oil represent? Anybody know? The it's the anointing. The anointing. Bro, 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 what's it? The anointing. Everybody else look at I mean, a fresh anointing should be on you. A yeah, fresh anointing. God. And that's what God wants. It. And when we pray, it brings that fresh anointing, a fresh uh, uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we say this, uh, fill up, fill me up. Amen. Let me overflow. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I want. I want to be more like you. Let me overflow with the fresh oil. Amen. Amen. Okay. Got two more, then we, we'll get out of here. So when I pray. I, I believe in our spirit. It gives me a deeper revelation of who God is. It opens our eyes to understanding. It opens up a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit in our life. But when we pray, I want you to write this one down and highlight this. Here. We become intercessors. Amen. 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 Somebody say intercessors. Intercessors. So, so what does that mean, Pastor? When you become an innocent, I wrote this about we can stand in the gap Amen. for our families. Amen. Yes. Anybody got some people in your family yes. not where they need to be? Yes. Anybody got some people in your family going through some stuff? Yes. When I pray and I go through this transformation of all this here, guess what? I become an innocent. I Amen. stand in the gap yeah. for my family. Amen. I stand in the gap for my friends. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Um, you know, have you, have you ever had somebody that, that you, you friend and they were going through some stuff? It, it's something about when you said, I called somebody, uh, I called a friend of mine today. I, I was just driving and her name hit my spirit. So I called her because she had been dealing with cancer and stuff like that. And I called her. She said, she called me Mac. She said, Mac, I'm feeling good. Everything is going good. I said, well, I called to tell you I've been praying for you. And guess what she said? I know you've been praying for me. Yeah. yeah. I felt your prayer. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. That's what you want. Yeah. Amen. She said, I know you've been praying. I felt your prayers Jesus. praying for me. Amen. I mean, if you're going to be an intercessor, be an intercessor. Yeah. Yeah. Let your family know. Guess what? I got her. She might be acting crazy. She might be doing all this stuff. I'm going to see, and we're going to see God change that thing. Amen. Same with your friend. Then, then you become an intercessor for your whole community. Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. When I was uh, in, uh, up in my grandmother's house, uh, they had a lady named Miss McGowan. Miss McGowan was one of them Holy Ghost filled, sanctified, speaking in tongues, hell, fire, CC driver. They stood for something. Amen. And guess what? People at night, they didn't want people to see them going over there, but at yeah. night, they were not going to go. Come on. And they come in and say, I yeah. need you to pray. I need yeah. you to intercede for me. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the power of an intercessor. Some of us, we, we, we say we intercessor, but ah, I don't know. <laughs> but, but when you pray, and, you, and God takes you through these transformations that he, he's taking you through. And you, you believe and you expect and you've got a deeper revelation. And your eyes are open to understanding. You've got a fresh You become the intercessor to take a stand in Amen. the gap yes, yes. for my family, my friends, my community. And guess what? It don't stop there. Right. Amen. There are some intercessors that stand in the gap for the whole nation. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, you thought you had to go to Africa to be an intercessor? I can pray right now and send a prayer to Africa right yeah. now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You thought you had to go and drive somewhere? The, the, see, 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 the man told Jesus, say, listen, you don't even have to come to my house. You, you got that, you got that there. You got that there. You got that there. Send the word. Now listen to that. Mm -hmm. I got a need in my house, and I need you to handle it. But I got so much faith in you, you ain't got to come to send the word yeah. and go on about your business. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That's a true intercessor. Amen. 
for the nations. Okay, let me help y'all out because some of y'all can't think that big. An intercessor. The Bible says one can chase what? A thousand. I'm going to ask you, have you chased your thousand today? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. We got to know, we're going we're gonna to put a million on the road in a little bit here. Yeah. So again, become an intercessor. Amen. Let's go to 1 Timothy uh, 2, or 1 and 2. First Timothy 2, 1 and 2. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, <laughs> prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, Amen. for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. That's Amen. a powerful intercessor right there. Amen. Amen. So, so... <laughs> Just put on your paper. I'm close. Cool this is bigger than me. It's bigger than me. Some of us we can't intercede because our prayers are always about us. Mm. Fix my house. Fix this here. But guess what? The, the Bible says that you, God, He already know what you have need of. Yeah. Before you open your mouth, He already know. Yeah. He wants to know: Do you believe I can do this? Do you believe that you already an overcome? So again, we got to make sure we understand that. Let me, let me give you these last two. So, so when I pray, when I pray, guess what? Guess what happens next? And this is what some of us need to hear. This is when I pray, I receive God's direction. I receive His comfort, and I receive His peace. Amen. Woo! Amen. Yeah, I know y'all quiet because y'all taking notes. I'm gonna hope y'all quiet. Because I feel a hallelujah on that one. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you repeat it? Yeah. I'm going to say, when I pray, no. let me give them all because some of y'all didn't miss it. When I pray, I believe and I expect. Mm -hmm. When I pray, it gives me a deeper, deeper revelation of who God is. Mm -hmm. When I pray, it opens up my open up our eyes to understanding. Mm -hmm. When I pray, a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit. When I pray, it makes me become now an intercessor. Mm -hmm. Now, when I pray, let's get to me now. I receive. Mm -hmm. Now listen, listen I receive. Mm -hmm. I'm going through something right now. Mm -hmm. Now, I've, I've already got the deeper revelation. My eyes have been opened. Now look how God shifts this. Now, when we pray, we receive God's what? Direction. Amen. 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 Did you get the directions? Yes. Why are you over there then? <laughs> Why are you off course? Yeah. Why are you in the exit right there? Uh -huh. Okay. It gives us direction. Uh -huh. And then it gives us comfort. Uh -huh. Somebody said, what is comfort? Anybody want to talk? What, what is comfort? It's, it's like a, to me, comfort is like a reassurance. Uh -huh. Everything going to be all right. Then comfort leads to peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody say peace. 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 Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So again, let's go to uh, John, John 14 and 27. Let's see what that says. And it reads, Peace I leave with you. Amen. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives it give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. Did you see that? Yeah. Yep. Now I'm going to ask you one question real quick and we're almost done. Who stole your peace? Mm. Who gave you the peace? Mm. Jesus, I give you my peace. Yes. And if he gave it to you, the only way it, it's going to be taken, you had to give it away. Amen. So again, Again, when we pray, we receive God, God's direction, mm -hmm. his comfort, mm -hmm. and his peace. That's for somebody on Facebook. Again, mm -hmm. conclusion. Now, now when we talk about receiving from God, you receive, first of all, direction, comfort, then peace. Mm -hmm. Then this last one, then we can wrap this thing up. When I pray, mm -hmm. this is what I shout about. I wrote here, God will go before us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and prepare a way for us. Mm. Oh my God, I'm going to say it one more time. When we pray, yes. I receive in direction and comfort and peace. God goes before oh. us to what? Prepare, prepare a what? Way for us. Amen. That's, that's the shouting part right there. I, I think this is, what did I write down here? Let's go to, I think that's Mark 13, 24, 25. Read that for me. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, mm. and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall. And the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. Mm -hmm. And then shall they see the Son of Man mm. coming in the clouds Amen. with great power and glory. Mm. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds. Jesus. From the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Mm. Amen. We start right Jesus. there. So again, when I break... God goes before us, prepare a way. I don't care what's going on this on this earth. God is preparing a way for us to get up out of here. Amen. 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 Now let me give you some benefits of prayer one time. Now, now I give these four and we go. I want you to write this on your on, on your thing. This is this is a bonus right here. Prayer opens doors no man can shut. Amen. Amen. The benefit of prayers. It reassures me that God will fight our battles for us that we don't have to fight. The benefits of prayer, it provides us to know that God will provide all of our needs. And I wrote this last one there. When I pray, it leads me into the abundant life that God has prepared for me. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, 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 listen. Let's just take a moment. Now I'm done. I want to just just pray for a moment. I want to pray. Let's let's declare the promises of God over our life. So uh, it's just like my son. You know, I remember one time he was going through some things. I had to remind him of who he was. Yeah. And sometimes I think we need to be reminded of who we are. So let's just stand to our feet for a moment, and we're, we're done. Now, this is a this is a, a pop quiz. I want everybody, I'm gonna to point to you, and uh, you declare a promise of God over your life. Amen. Claire, let's start with you. I will give you houses that you ain't built. You will live in houses that you ain't built. Okay. Okay. I shall live and not die. All right, all right. Felicia? That's the and live and not die. That's the word for the Lord. Okay. Go. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Restoration of every hand. Amen. Amen. You reign with God? Peace. Amen. Kelly? All right, all right. I will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. Amen. Daddy, you got one? Open the door. I love it. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> and, and we have just to declare, we have to declare that. And, and one of mine is, 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 is his good pleasure to bless me. Yes, yeah. amen. Amen. And another one, nothing can separate me amen. from the love of God. Yes, amen. Let, let's declare this here. I mean, you know, and then the next thing I want you to do, let's claim victory. How do you claim victory?
every challenge, yes, thank you, over every obstacle, thank you, Lord. and over every stronghold. Yes, yes, God. So, Father, tonight we thank you, thank you Lord. for your word tonight. Yes, it's teaching us through prayer. There are so many benefits. Now, Father, I pray that tonight as we pray tonight, thank you. we pray what the word says. You. Let your will be done yes, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Now, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Amen. that you say if we lack wisdom to ask you for wisdom. Yes. I ask you for wisdom on our jobs, in our houses, yes. in our marriages, yes. with our kids, yes, with our finances, yes. with our relationship, yes. even in the church. Give us wisdom to deal with people. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you. We thank you that in your word, you've already told us that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. The weapon might fall, but it will not prosper. I curse any sickness, any disease. It cannot stay in my dwelling right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, you said in your word that you would keep us in perfect peace. We came here today. Some stayed home. Some was too tired. Some said, I'm not going. But for those who pressed their ways, those who were even looking online, you said if we keep our minds on you, you would keep us in perfect peace. Now, Father, there is a scripture that said, eyes have not seen, neither has it entered into the hearts of men, the good things that you have in store for us. So, Father, we thank you tonight Jesus. that you can trust us with every blessing because the blessing comes from you and the blessing is to glorify you. Amen. Now, Father, I thank you right now that you told me, hold your hands out. You said lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. Father, align us with your word, God. And I pray for I speak life over my own mind. I speak yeah. life over my body. Yeah. I speak life over everything yeah. that I own, touch, live, whatever it might be. Yeah. I speak life right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I close. Cover our babies, God. I pray for my baby today. I pray for Charity McDuffie. Put real people in her life. I pray, Father, you would send somebody that's tailor-made from you to be her friend, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, because she gives so much. She loves. So she gets that from her daddy. It's just, just give, give, give. And sometimes in giving, we get hurt. So tonight, Father, soothe her tonight. Comfort her tonight. Bless her tonight, Father. And I pray, let her know that you got her, God. Yes, and I thank you, Father, I pray to every word. You told me that she would preach the word of God. Yes, yes Lord. And I pray, no matter what she do, one day she's going to walk up in this pulpit yes. and she's going to speak the word of God. Amen. She's going to pick up that mouth and carry it on. Yes, Lord. Yes. Father, I thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Now, Father, I pray over our youth service. Yes, Lord. Yes. I pray that, Father, this would be a special youth service. Yes. And I pray as youth come, I pray that, Father, they would be blessed. Yes. And I pray that, Father, every youth service, it will grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until we want to have room for the kids, God. Yes, Father, you can draw anybody, God. Yes. I pray this house will be full of youth in God. And I pray that's the signs of a strong church. Yes. When you got plenty of youth, God. Yes, Lord. And I pray help us to connect with them, God. Not always to judge them out. Not always yes. trying to handle them any kind of way, but to love them into perfection. Yes, Jesus. Father, because somebody loved us that we got right. Yes, God. Now, Father, I thank you tonight. Thank you. Now, Father, I pray that as we leave this place, Father, go with us and protect us and watch over us. It's in the powerful name of Jesus we pray. Amen, amen. 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 For those who are going to sing, amen. amen. Let's, uh, let's get an offering and ready to, to give tonight. Cassandra requested prayer for Ooh. asthma. Cassandra. Okay. Asthma and we, we pray for my sister, Andrea. We're going to pray. Anybody else got any special prayers? Okay. For my vacation. Okay. Amen. For Brenda's 1900 vacation. <laughs> I ain't jealous. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I pray that, Father, I pray that this vacation, I pray in the name of Jesus that she would have fun, but ministry, yes, she going to minister to people, Amen. she going to connect Amen. to somebody, and that Amen. word going to come out of her like never before. Amen. Now, Father, I pray for the man of God who covers us. I pray that, Father, that favor is increased, his hands are blessed, and I pray for godly connections, and I pray that you said our gift would make room yes. for us. I pray that his gift would come before some great people on this cruise, whatever they're going to do, God. Yes. Wherever they at, let his gift come to the king, God. Yes. And so they say, listen, because we see you doing this out of love, mm. that Father, give him something he didn't even see coming. Yes. And I pray that Thank you continue you, to bless and keep them. It's in Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you bless the man of God. He say whatever he do, wherever he go, that Father, he wants you always to cover him, God. And I pray even in his recreational activity that Father, you would cover him and keep him and protect him. And I pray it be done in the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Let's intercede for uh, Minister Monroe. Father, I pray tonight. Yes, that Father, you would just bless the man of God. I yes, pray that you would Lord. touch him. Yes. Now, Father, I pray that he would understand that you know what's best for yes. everything. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Father, even yes. though he feels a void, but Father, I pray that you would feel that void yes. and let him know that Mama is in a better place. Yes, Lord. She is rejoicing. She's at yes. peace, yes. God. Yes. And I pray that the enemy won't try to just bring him to a place of depression and a place that he can't get past this God. But I know what you feel, but God, I know that you are able, God. And I pray that he'll run his race and run it to the end, God. And I pray that he'll understand that this is that wasn't the end. It's gonna be a beginning that we never have to say bye again. And Father, we pray it be done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless this offering, God, everybody who gave, those who want to gave and had it not. I pray that you would bless and increase it in Jesus' name. We pray for those online that are going to give you some ways to give. Somebody going to give a supernatural seed. Amen. Amen. I just see that coming. I am believing God going to do just what he said. Amen. 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 Praying for my mother. Y'all keep her in your prayers. Amen. 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 She said she Peace felt a little bit better today. Amen. Amen. Okay. We're good? Amen. All right. Let's be dismissed. Have a wonderful night. Amen. Oh, let that go again.